Michael was just like adamant about how this band would be presented. If there was three people there, fine. If there was 300 people there, fine. When they were on stage, that was Swan's stage, and this is what it was gonna sound like. That's the beauty of Swan's right there. listen to swans, well, especially when I see them live, I feel like I'm seeing the whole history of music being replayed in front of me. Swans will be an enduring name in music. And I think it's a name that will only kind of grow in time. My name is Marco Porcia. I'm a longtime Swans fan and filmmaker. I remember flying down to New York City in 1997 to see the final Swans tour at Irving Plaza. To this day, it remains one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. We all thought that was the end of Swans, that that was it. I thank you for your kind attention, and we leave you now forever. Goodbye. But 13 years later, they reactivated, and I was determined to document the rebirth. I just thought that before I died, I wanted to experience the kind of uh, maelstrom swirling tornado of sound again. I wanted to be inside that sound again. I've been traveling all over the world the last six years, filming as many live shows as possible, documenting as much as I can on my own, getting unique access to the band. I've produced and filmed the live Swans concert film DVDs, but now I want to tell the complete story of Swans, one that spans 35 years and counting. As an artist, you're always gonna push until you fall over the edge. So maybe Michael just hasn't found the edge yet. I've also been entrusted with hundreds of recently uncovered archived videotapes of live shows from 1984 to 1997, including never-before-seen Life on the Road home movies that all need to be preserved, restored, and edited, and which will provide an in-depth look at the early period of Swans. and Sonic Youth were really close. We really started out together, we rehearsed together, we hung out a lot together. I took these pictures of Swans uh, in Michael's apartment in the East Village in 1984. What makes Swans unique is that Michael is the real deal. And when he's in the middle of that musical maelstrom, that's all that matters to create that moment of ecstasy and that moment of euphoria. I remember seeing the Swan show and I remember thinking after that, that's it, I'm going home. I've seen what I need to see. The essence of music is regrouped in one single band. But there's still a lot to do to finish the film. Extensive editing time, animation sequences, film processing and transferring, professional sound mix, color correction, 
and further interviews with artists, journalists, and band members past and present, including Jarbeau. Special rewards are being created for your support of this project. I hope that you will find this project worthy to contribute to so that the story of swans can come to life. I want the music to continue to exist in the work you do and, and the way you live your life and the things that you make contribute to the flow of human history and if you can make something that's positive then I think that's a good thing. Capture everything, oh Marco, you can't just experience life. <laughs> <laughs>